Hello and welcome to another Yoldi Battle Battle Report. I guess said again, Jack. Something a bit different. Said every time <laughs> we're playing for the first time. Moonstone. Very. I'm so excited about this game. It's a bit scary. Um, it's a game I backed on Kickstarter, and Jack's backed well, a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> I backed most of it, <laughs> but. Um, it's a nice little skirmish game. We're playing three versus three, but it's, I think it's supposed to be designed for six versus six models, A, it's not players. Um, it's a kind of a whimsical fantasy game, it's kind of how to describe it. Um, that's, that's portrayed in the character name or something else. It's done on a three by three board, so these stone walls are marking the board. I've put a guild ball pitch underneath it, so I know it's exactly three by three. A um, few houses, there's always a gap in the middle, because you'll see in a moment that you drop things called moonstones and the aim of the game is to collect the moonstones um it's a four turn game we might end up only playing three because with three players you might only play three three models i should say um it's not a dice game it's a card based game mm. it's quite an interesting yeah, mechanic really for interesting. us we'll, we'll talk about the mechanic as we do it i think rather than um describing it now if yeah, you want to know how to play it video, yeah if you want to know how to play it go on the moonstone youtube channel and look at their how to play because they're, they're really good videos. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grow some moonstone. You do that by dropping moonstones. Let's get my hand in. There we go. In the middle. Uh, that's two near me and none anywhere near you. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to call that mulligan and do that again because we're a bit too spread out and a bit too. I know you want a few in the middle. I'll do a bit lower. Pretty much the same. Let's just do that. <laughs> There we go. That's, good, That's better. So there they are. There's our moonstone. What? It, so on this one, this is moonstone one because one's the one that's facing up. It's which means depth, it takes this is the depth. That takes one action to remove it. That takes three actions. Got another three, and a two. So, cool. for example, if Jack walks up to this one. He could spend one energy to change that to a one, and then one more energy to change it to a zero, and he picks it up, puts it on his player's card. Okay. Um, so next thing we do is we set, set up our troops. We roll for. Um, initiative and things, and then we get going. Okay, so beginning of turn one, uh, I'll just introduce what uh, characters characters we've got. I've got the golden vicious midget. I've got C62 who's planted next to a moonstone, and boom, boom, boom. Jack's got <laughs> Baron von uh, Baron von Fancy Hat, Flintlock, and Agatha Tavernfrau. Agatha Tavernfrau, yeah. and this is where our moonstone have landed. You've seen that. And I made Jack go first, so he got the early bird, but I got the initiative, so I'm going to be going first. Okay, my first activation was quite simple. C6 Dew picked up the Moonstone. It was only a one Moonstone, so it cost him one energy. He did his four-inch jog, and I've kept his three energy for reaction steps. Okay, Jack's then gone with Flintlock. First thing he's done is jog his three four inches, spent two energy to pick up the Moonstone, and now he's going to shoot C6 Dew. Yeah, we've lost uh, one to shoot, so we've got one left. You're going to shoot my little drunk man. Now, I could have made a reaction step and dodged it back. But I've decided to let it go just because I kind of want to see what's going to happen. Hmm. And we're learning the game, and I think if Jack doesn't go at doing this, then we'll have a go at doing an arcane scenario, yeah. as it were. So I'm not going to do it. So these are my cards. I'm the defender. Okay, let's see what Jack's going to gonna go for. What, what do you think? What are you going to say you've got? And whatever I say, I'll, yeah, you don't check it, do you? Okay. No. If I say yes, you're you're telling the truth. I don't. You How don't many check wounds has your goblin got? He's got less than you. Isn't he? He's got two, four, six, seven. Oh, seven. So. But he'll lose energy if you take two wounds off him. <coughs> I've got green one. He needs green, doesn't he? He needs green. Uh, yeah, I think I'm telling the truth. I'm not going to counter like that with mine. Because um, I'd rather just have two wounds and you not have, and you not they'll steal well, again. You, you take so you, with the musket you take X plus two. So yeah, you yeah. Three. I think you probably got a green one. <laughs> okay, so me next. I've moved Boom Boom McBoom. He's four inches and he's exactly ten inches from Flintlock. So he's going to play. You'll never get this. Na 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 na. Which means that uh, whatever card I get, I, I can move the model two times that directly towards me so i get to, just get to move flintlock up a little bit he's got a an arcane card so not arcane card a moonstone so i'm looking for red cards do i show your cards 
Maybe if they're red or pink or purple. Right. Anyway, I'm going to play purple. I think it is. Okay. Red, no, it's red on here. Red three. Oh, that's if I say you're bluffing and you're not. You can I, do it again. I can do it again with, with, with no energy cost. No energy cost. I. think you're bluffing. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say you're bluffing. <laughs> and it is. Red three. Oh, cool. So I'm going to move Jack and I'm going to do it again. With right, the same so card. So you don't change the cards. I'm just hoping that you don't have anything. Okay, so I move Flintlock's into the next to a move stone. And I'm going to play again. This is the card I'm going to play. So let me get rid of that one. Okay, I'm going to say red two. So I'll just say then that you're bluffing just in case. You haven't got that bird because you're not bluffing. No, because no, yeah, there'll be no yeah, point in bluffing yeah, yeah. kind of thing. So. Cool, so I'm now going to move you. Okay, so I did have red two, and I've moved Flintlock into base contact with Boom Boom at Boom. Not really my combat model, <laughs> but hey. my combat model, though. <laughs> no. Um, so I'm now going to perform a melee attack in my last one. This is exciting. Um, so I've got a melee of three. <coughs> I'm going to shuffle these up again. Okay, I decided to stop recording while we were thinking about this because it mm. took a while. So we're going to play our cards. You ready? Yep. From here so we can see. So, ready, steady. you got falling swords. Oh, that's about the worst thing I could possibly have played. Oh, no. No. Falling, so I do... Falling swing. I deal no damage at all. I do two and two. But... Plus one, plus one. is piercing. So, so I do six. six. One, two, three. It's got one health left. <laughs> oh, my God. It couldn't have gone worse. It could not have gone worse. I'm I so excited like, when I... I said that because he's... Um, Got a dagger, yeah. which is pierce, plus one piercing. So he's what, what's his? Just check his, his upgrade. Upgrade is what's his upgrade? on high guard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, that couldn't have gone worse. <laughs> uh, so I moved up Agatha four inches, and then spent an energy to uh, step another inch. Um, then I'm going to enticing offer uh, Baron von Fancy Hat. It's ten inch range. Move target four inches directly towards this model. So we have to do the cards for that though, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Arcane cards. So Jack's drawn three cards. Here's my six cards. What are you going to play, Jack? Jack needs a two of something. A two, yeah. Uh, well, I'm... <laughs> I'm going to play two blue. I think you're bluffing. Okay. So... Turn it over. Turn it over, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I just wanted to see it. I, I, didn't, I, I, thought, I didn't even have a I two blue. I'm trying to pull a face and make you think. Oh, okay. oh yeah, <laughs> poker face from Jack. So Jack wasn't bluffing, uh, so he's moving four, but he's not going to do it again, which makes me assume he probably hasn't got another two in his hand because he needed a two of, a, of either green, blue, or red. So which is fine. Um, so he's not going to do it again because he doesn't want to risk, risk, risk a catastrophe. Mm. It did have in my hand. Mm, so. Yeah. Which is why I thought good, because not really anything against me. No, it's no skill of mine, it wasn't a bluff really. Yeah. But I thought, well, I've got a catastrophe, so I might be able to screw you over. Exactly. Um, so that's him moved up, and Agatha's finished. My go. Okay. All I've done is just jog Vicious Ninja up four, and then on three steps to get him closer to Flintlock. Um, I was hoping to do his Where'd You Come From you ability, go? but. <laughs> nice. Um, but he wasn't in range. So he's now just a bit closer to the action. So I have a feeling the action's going to be all over this side. <laughs> <laughs> so Baron Von Fancy Hat's gone next. He's jogged up four and stepped one. So I've done two reaction steps with C6 Duty. He's done two steps up towards Flintlock. And you're going to shoot the midget. I, I did one step with him because he only has two. Yes, so, yes, yeah. so you jogged and did one step, which means yeah. I could do two reaction steps. <coughs> um, yeah. And now he's going to shoot the midget. We'll get the cards out and things and then we'll start the camera again. So Jack's now shooting the midget. I'm the obviously defender, these are my cards. You can see the colours. Mm. What are you going to play? It's a green two. Green two. But you don't need to suffer one wound. I don't suffer one wound. Um, I'm going to say you're bluffing. <laughs> Damn it. Are you bluffing? Yeah. So I take three wounds. Well, it depends, it depends what I've got. Oh no, yeah. So, so you, you have to show me what you've got. Yeah, what so you got? I've got, I've got that. So then okay, I do have a catastrophe card. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you can play. So I'm changing it for a catastrophe card. Cool. You have uh, three wounds. Uh, yeah, I didn't get any green, but I didn't want to just 
not doing anything. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you can not do anything. You have to bluff. Oh, I had to bluff. Yeah, you can't. I yeah, you, you can't choose to not do anything. You have to bluff. Uh, if you haven't got it, yeah. you, you, you're still playing the event. Um, cool. That's the end of the turn then. So that's what it looks like. Boom, boom, boom is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, one moonstone each. Um, we're enjoying this a lot. Yeah, it's awesome. It's such a fun game already. It's so good. Yeah. So we'll move on to turn two. Okay, so this is the board at the beginning. Uh, boom, boom, at boom's obviously only got one health. C62's got three, three, and he's going first. He's actually now within three inches yeah. of him. So all I'm going to do to start with is he with him. So we'll, we'll deal out the melee cards and things and then go from there, I think. So c 2 attacking. Let's play our cards. You ready? Yeah. High guard. Yeah. But I want to choose. No damage. Well, I've got an upgrade on high guard as well. Okay. Do I have to use the upgrade? What's your upgrade? No, you don't have to use it. You can choose okay. to use it. So, all right. So, my, my, it's why I pay to get more cards because I want to see if I get high guard. But yeah. So, high, you mean you suffer no damage. Um, and you would be able to do a counter attack, but you can't attack counter attack. Do, you can't do get I suffer no damage though? Yes. But I've got tactical retreat though. No, so if I if I use this instead, I think I'll take yeah, damage. Yeah. But no, no, you still don't. That's yeah. how much you deal, not how much you suffer. So well, how do I know how much I suffer? You don't suffer any. It's still on this one. You only change the deal one. Oh right. On here. Okay. The suffer one is the, the same. Yeah. So you can, yeah, you can move two inches. So I can move two inches. But you so can't leave my melee. I don't think you can leave my melee zone with that. <clears throat> Maybe you can. I think you probably can actually, it's not a jog. Yes, yeah, so you can move two inches if you want. Then you've got three... Four inch jog. Four inch jog. So I'll be able to get within range of you again, whatever. But you won't be engaged by Boom Boom McBoom anymore. So you won't be minus one card if I attack you again. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll... Do that. Okay. So Jack played a high guard on that one, and so for no damage it also meant he could play signature move, which means you can move two inches. See, so he's jogged up within two inches, he's now going to hit him again. Um, these are my cards. Dun, dun, dun. Um, let's see what Jack plays. That's what we do. Yep. You ready? Yep. You've been cut. Okay. So you deal none, but Can't you. Can't deal any anyway. Nope. And you suffer. Uh, what have you played? Thrust. If you play Thrust, I don't take any. Suffer. Right. Um, so Jack played sweeping cut against my thrust, which means he suffered no damage again. That's kind of the point of it, is it's kind of, you know, yeah. riposte, parry yeah, yeah. kind of thing. He would get to counter-attack, but he's not actually within my melee, not, within melee zone, so he can't really counter-attack. Um, Do so I get new cards if you take again? You get new cards, because yeah. it's a new melee now. Cool. If you counter-attack, you use the same cards. Okay, so this is the third attempt to hit mm. fucking Flintlock. Yeah. So I'm hitting him again. <laughs> These are my cards. Let's see what Jack gives. You ready? Yeah. I know what I'm doing, so I know what are. Okay. Okay, ready. Falling swing. Falling swing. This is sweeping cut. So, so you sweep. played sweeping cut, which means you suffer six damage. Oh, and I, yeah. I suffer none because I'm not within your melee zone. Losing my two health. Two health. Yeah. Didn't mean to stop recording then yet, so I finally, I finally did some damage on it. He suffered six damage now, yeah. which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, I had two falling swings and he played a sweeping cut, so he suffered six damage. Yeah, no, next person. It was so you. moved up face to face with Boom Boom Boom. I'll try put a wound on Boom Boom Boom, but it can't go round and I'll be crowded out, won't I? By yes, yeah, so you'll be minus one. That's the terminology in this one. Yeah. Um, um, so you're attacking him, yeah? Yeah. So one energy attack. We're putting our on the example games on Moonstone. YouTube, they put their energy next to the cards, but we're doing it Guild Ball style. Yeah. But the next to the players we prefer. It means you can see how much they've got really easily, mm. so I think we're going to stick to that. I might even use my Guild Ball counters, <laughs> to be honest, um, than there was in these. They're perfectly good counters, but I think the Guild will kind of stack up in a pile. Yes, that's the thing, so, they don't stack um, so well. Yeah. Anyway, so you get minus one. Do you got three or two now? Uh, yeah, two now. Two now? I've got, I got I'm many of three. Yeah. With no negatives. You've got Falling Swing and I've got Thrust. Oh shit, so what? Oh shit! <laughs> They're still no damage. Oh shit! Uh, yeah. I think, yeah. Thrust yes. against Rising Attack. Oh no, you suffer one. Oh yeah, sorry. Thrust? If against you play Rising Attack. No, Falling Swing. Falling Swing. Yeah, you suffer, suffer none. Suffer none. And you take... 
enough to kill him. One, which is... No, two. Falling swing. Deal, two, yeah. suffer, none. Yeah. If, I, if I'd take my other one, rising attack, I'd have you killed you. you rising attack. You would take taken one, we would have killed each other. We could kill her. Ah. Oh, shit. Bums. So he's dead. Taken out. Wow. I've still got uh, energy left. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you can tax these to do if you want. Yeah. Well, he's already Hello, dead. I might kill you in return. <laughs> yeah, that is. Anyway, boom, 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 boom's dead, which is a sad state yes. of affairs. Didn't get to shoot his musket. Um, yeah. And then lost the one energy. Okay, Jack's decided to hang on to his one energy, which makes sense. He can use it for a step. So, Vicious Mitch is going to go. He's going to. Oh, let me measure actually. No, yeah, so you could just step away from me over and over. Oh, for jog. No, I'm going to. Yes, no, it would cost me more. <coughs> so he's going to play. Where do you come from? It cost him two. This is an arcane. Um, and I probably won't bother filming this, but I think it's not that exciting. But if I succeed, I can replace him base contact with someone mm -hmm. within six inches, which he is. Because I worked out if I jogged four, you can step away, which means you're then further than two, an inch away. I can step. Well, let me check it out. I'm going to do some measuring before I do. Okay, we come back, and actually it's better for me to jog. And step and things, succeed. guaranteed to succeed. So I'm going to do that. This is how it looks before Vicious Midget swings. Um, so we'll do a round of combat. And I get plus, he gets minus one. Okay, so there's a Vicious, look, vicious Midget is attacking. Here's my cards. Not... Wait. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play this one. I played rising attack, and oh, I should play thrust. Yeah, two thrusts. I had two thrusts. But I don't know. I think I was trying to catch Jack out with something, and Jack played low guard, so I did no damage. Did no damage. The that Finlock's still alive. Point. I've got a man dead. I've got no energy left. I've got two characters to play yet. Yeah, they're quite far away though. They're quite far away, but they could just go and take that moonstone. Okay. We're now back after having letting the battery recharge a little bit. Um, Jack's got a lot of thinking about what he can do with this game, because you've got these two moonstones here. Um, you're starting by doing Drink Your Fill with Agatha, Tav Agatha Tavernfrau on Baron Von Fancy Hat. <laughs> okay, so this is an Arcane one. one. Cost one. Uh, we'll draw Arcane cards, already, and yeah. these are my cards. Right, so I will do a blue... Two. Okay, I'm gonna say you're telling the truth. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're gonna say that, so. Yeah. So, I, so, I may so, not be. so you may not be. But <laughs> I have to just say yeah. Yeah. But I've shown them my cards. I've got no blue twos. Yeah. So, so you probably haven't. I don't want you to, have to do it again. <laughs> okay. It's once per turn anyway. Oh, okay. Oh. I might as well call the bluff then, wouldn't I? Yeah, I wasn't bluffing. Just okay. All right. <laughs> oh, good to know. Thank you for telling me. Because <laughs> actually, if I'd known it was once per turn, I would have called the bluff. Yeah. Because I may as well. All right. Yeah, so he gets two energy. Yep. Uh, Just take two from there. Yeah. Doesn't matter, really does it? It cool. Okay, Jax succeeded in that. He's now moved Tavern Frau. Just call it Tavern Frau. Agatha. Yeah. Yeah, Agatha. So that's, really, that's like calling a Tavern Frau, it's like calling a bar lady. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I apologise, yeah. Agatha. A long time painting you not to call you Tavern Frau. <laughs> Agatha. Is she going to do, what's it called? Enticing, Enticing offer on C6 G. <laughs> Appropriate. She went to tavern, he likes drinking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it is going to be minus two cards for Jack because <coughs> Baron von Franz Chat's base is in the way and Lumber got evaded. So yeah, it's going to be one against six. Let's see what happens. So these are my cards. Jack's calling two blue, I'm calling in bluff. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get a two, so I'll just take two wounds. I haven't got a catastrophe card. Oh, so, so it's only, yeah. So I, I, just, I, just, I just play a one, so you just fail. Yeah, I just give, I keep forgetting that it's only if you've got the card. Yeah, and I've got a catastrophe oh, card. Well, so no, 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 literally nothing, nothing wrong, happens, but it just yeah. doesn't succeed. Okay. All right, last one on the turn, quite easy. Bound one fancy hat has just moved up, done one step, and then you spent the last three to pick up that moonstone. So we've got two each. No, you got, you got two. I've got two. I've got one. Got one. winning two, one at the moment. <coughs> right. Roll for turn. Let's do this on camera. I got plus get, one. Plus one or plus two? Plus one. Why only plus one? Plus two. Because it changes on after the turn. Oh, see. Yeah. So next turn, if we if we're playing for another turn, which we're not, 
No bonus, no bonus at all. Oh, it goes down four. one yeah. Okay. Six. Damn. Jack's going first. Ah! Jack decides to go flintlock basically before he dies. If nothing else. Because he's th this one is guaranteed. Agatha will get that. She's got three. She's within four inches. That's yep. guaranteed. And she'll be safe. It's all about these four players here. The thing is, because he's got the Moonstone, he can, can only move two. two. Because you're already near my guy. You're already getting crowded him out. Yep. And he's not fast enough to influence yep. that really at the moment. Yeah. So Jack's going to see if he can kill C16. Yeah. So these are my cards. Jack, what are you playing? Are you ready? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to go. Okay, I think we're gonna to have to go with. Okay. Ready, steady. Rising attack. Oh no. So, so if I'm reading this right, you suffer three. Yeah, which is pretty bad. I suffer two. You suffer two. Two health left. Two health, I kill you. You, is that right though? You do yep. one for each one? Yep, one for each one. Oh. So I saw, I knew it was going to be risky, but I knew basically you probably weren't going to play low guard, which is the only one where you wouldn't suffer any damage, so I knew I was going to kill you. Okay, yeah. Because I had two of them. Yeah, I wasn't going to do four damage. Oh, I suffered three attack. though. But I can't, I don't know how I can do any more damage to you. No, anyway. Cool. So I've moved the midge up. It's a battle of the, well, the warriors really. It's quite scary. Right, go. Okay, these are my cards. What's your grade on? Rising attack. Mm. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Oh, what, what's yours on? Uh, oh, uh, falling swing. So. Falling swing. Yours is on. Falling swing, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Ready, steady. Two falling swings. <laughs> oh God. Falling swing I I against thrust. I think I'll probably have to upgrade that because it's my yeah, master strike. Do I oh. want to upgrade it? Can I choose the now? Or do I have to thrust? Uh, uh, thrust against falling swing. Oh, I don't suffer any. Well, I can do a master strike instead, though. Yep. Which would be. Okay. Our falling swing is slicing. For slicing or piercing, I do increased damage by one. Right. Okay. You've done thrust. Which does two damage, so I don't suffer any. Master strike against thrust does one upgrade to two, but you ignore that. Yeah. Yeah, and how much do you do to me? None, I do two. All right, so we ignore that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay next go. These are mine this time. I think uh, you all know what I'm going to play. Sweeping cut. Again, sweeping cut does none to Nothing both of us. To either of us. <laughs> both of us just clash swords. Yeah. Cool. It's right. quite cool. It's quite visceral. Yeah, yeah. Fighting, right. Bad, so these are mine this time. Okay. Ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Falling swing, you played the rise attack, yes. Yeah, that's because I had all three low guards. <laughs> <laughs> so, so rising. rise attack against falling swing. I now suffer three. You suffer three. It's so only two. No, what do you mean? Uh, I suffer one, sorry. One. You suffer, but you suffer one. Which is ignored. No, it's not ignored. Because, Which is not ignored. Because of mine, because I'm going to upgrade. Well, actually, I might actually. Does it change anything else? Uh. What did you play? Falling Swing? Yeah, falling, I deal three. Well, if I... I deal do, three. If I do my Master Strike Falling Swing, then I change... I thought yours... Was yours on Falling Swing? Oh, shit, it's Rising Attack, isn't it? Hang on. Yeah, so you still deal three. It is Falling Swing. Yeah. So I'll so still do the same, actually, yeah. yeah. But I deal three with my Master Strike. Fuck. With my... Not my Master Strike, with my Groin Tickler. <laughs> I, I actually deal three damage, and you can't use your armour. Oh, wow. So mine would be three down to one up to two for my um, piercing thing. Okay, so long that... sword. If it's slicing or piercing, increase damage up by one, which it is slicing. That's so, slicing. so it's two. Oh, so for three, so for three. You slightly better. Yeah, I did, and I get to <coughs> again because I just did the wounds. I get an energy. Oh shit! This is all. 
Right, so on that one I managed to do three damage with my groin tickler. <laughs> so I have a two in return, but Barrel of Hatchet is now on one health. Yeah. And if I can kill him, I will win the game. So, because I did wound, I get an energy. Yeah. So let's have another go. Uh, okay, so this is what I've got myself. Let's see what happens. You ready, Jack? Yeah. So. Does none. Sweeping cut, yeah. So it just does none at all. Yeah. Did I have? To, if I had only had one, would one of yours have? That only negate one of them. Uh, don't know. We'll have to check. Oh yeah. I don't well, know. I'll probably play two anyway. But it negates him anyway. So no damage. Yeah. So he's still listening to the tail. Well, he's not stuck in combat with him, so he's going to do it again at some point. Yeah. <laughs> so that's gone for the easy thing at the moment. He's gone with Agatha. <laughs> Always called the tap of Valor. I can't do that. Picked up the Moonstone, and C6 Stew is going to do a one inch step to get in close contact with that. So C6 Stew went and got the Moonstone, did a little jog, so to be engaging Fancy Hat, but he then stepped out, mm. so he's now not in Just combat. Um, I am actually going to do a step now yeah um because i want to be engaging you because in your mind's one card if you attack the midget yeah oh, actually, no i don't want to do that no i don't want to do that because you can step out of my menu zone yeah that's what and i was thinking then, <laughs> and i won't be engaging anymore so what's the fancy hat he is going to attack the midget because he hasn't really got much choice yeah, I had one, so, I'm just, uh, so yeah i can't move away or do it yeah again, so yeah so we'll draw <laughs> melee cards and go from there again Okay, these are my, I know I'm the defender this time, but these are my ones. Right, after much deliberation, mm, we're ready to go. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a good option for me, so I'm just going to go with this. Okay, else. ready, steady, yeah. go. You're dead. You're dead. Yeah, you got a rising attack. The, the, as long as you had a rising attack, though, I had to die. There's nothing I could what, cause you Because you didn't have a low guard? Uh, yeah, I only had high guard. That's the yeah. Idea. Yeah. Guard. So I thought I'll play my stack, whatever. Yeah. Unless you've got. Yeah. I think I had one low guard. Actually, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. But I thought I'd risk it. Um. But so I suffer two damage. Take two though. Yeah. Yeah. But so it's, 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 it's going to be irrelevant because the game now ends, and, so, I, and I've got two move turns, and you're going to have one. Yeah, because I'll drop that one even without yeah. you picking. So he now one. dies, matter, and the move turn will drop there. Yeah, because exactly okay. same as we just we don't, yeah. we're, we're not talking too much about working out the attack because it's exactly the same as you did last time. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I suffer two damage, which puts me on one health. But one health is it? Yeah. <laughs> Jack drops his moonstone, and um, uh. which means at the end of turn three, which is where we said we we're going to end, I've got two moonstones. C six is holding both of them. Mm. Agatha's got one. That's the end of the game. Goblins. Feelings, Jack. Thought really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, Quite intuitive, I think. Nice to not use dice. Something yeah, different. different. Yeah, but also um, didn't I didn't miss them. No, definitely not. No. Um, Particularly the way the combat works, I really like that. The combat felt really um, like quite brutal, but quite. I don't know. I guess it's obviously a lot more detailed than a lot of combat you get because you can imagine the different thrusts and yeah. parries and things. Yeah, that's the thing. That I think that that's what they were going for, and it reads that in the book. It says like the, you, you've got to imagine the parry and the post. It's like we yeah. both went for sweeping cuts. So. Yeah. Our swords just bounce off each other. You go for a falling swing, so you chop down the top of me, which is damaging, but I slice up your groin. <laughs> um, what was this, this upgrade called? Groin... Groin tickler. Groin tickler. <laughs> so I, did, I actually did three damage. Yeah. So, yeah, that was really good fun. I really mm. got to get more games, and I'm definitely going to paint, finish painting the last model. Fancy, that's not quite finished painting yet. Mm. Um, oops, where? Don't lock as well. Uh, she's finished. So yeah. There we go. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. We're gonna get a lot more games of this, definitely. Mm, I definitely. think. Really enjoyed that. It's, um, it's, you can see it's got a lot of uh, depth to it. Yeah. But, um, definitely. It's not, it's not sort of difficult to pick up at all. Yeah. Next time, I think we'll do six v six. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.